Hey, Mike Pacelli here, coming to you from my studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And for this lesson, I'm going to talk about the dobro. This is a uh, square neck dobro that you play like a lap steel. And I think it's important uh, to learn about other forms of guitar playing so that, you know, your normal guitar playing is more vocal-like. And there's pretty much nothing more vocal uh, than playing something with a bar or a slide. And the dobro is the perfect example. Uh, you play it in open tunings. There's a, a lot you can play it in. Um, this particular lesson, I'll be playing an open G, which is a very you know, rock kind of a tuning, like Keith Richards uses a lot. So the open strings are G, B, D, G, B, and D. And that forms a, a G chord. Just like, uh, you know, Keith Richards uses all the time. Now, I'm using a pick. I'm actually using my V-Pick because it's just phenomenal for me. And if you haven't checked it out, you could do so at vpicks.com. Um, and sometimes I'll use my fingers. But, you know, whatever works for you best. Um, but I think the first thing you want to find is the pentatonic scale. It would be fret um, 8, 5... Six, three, five, three, five, three, three, one, three, open. Very important to remember is that the bar goes right over the fret of the note you want to play. And you need to mute behind the bar and with the palm of your hands any strings that you're not playing. And lay a finger down on the strings behind the bar. Because if you play notes without doing that, it's really messy sounding. But if you mute, So now we have our pentatonic scale. And let's find some useful licks. First, I would suggest going to the open string and uh, working with open, fret 3, and fret 5. So open 3, open 5. Those are the notes. Next thing you want to do is get uh, a nice vibrato. Now what's great about the dobro, it's very, very human-like. So you can get uh, a very slow vibrato. Or fast. Or real slow. Very human-like. And just practice with those three notes first to get that, you know, sounding kind of bluesy and swampy. And what's great about it, too, is that because you're fretting with the bar, you could get notes in between, a little flat, and it's very vocal-like again. So the target is always to try to, you know, use your ear to be in tune. And the vibrato will keep it in tune. Now, to my ears, next we need the flat five. Now, if we think about the pentatonic scale, flat five would be on third string, fret six and five. But it's also on the second string, fret two to one. So now we'll take our open, three, five, and we we'll use the second string, two, one, uh, third string, third fret, and open. And we have a myriad of cool licks. Use the same thing to get that flat five on the third string, fret six to five. See that's a totally different sound. Here I'll use the flat five on the second string. Same lick. 
pick with the uh, flat five on the third string. And on the dobro, it's good to like slide into a note. You can strum the open strings to always kind of have a tone center. A nice thing to do is go up an octave and kind of have a BB King stinger on the open G. That's an open G. 12 frets is an open G. So anywhere you feel like stinging it. <laughs> kind of cool. Also great in open tuning is if you play, for example, the second and third string, you get that's a G, third and fourth string, different interval of G. So again. Moving a little higher up that pentatonic. See that's like the raise nine. I suggest always resolving back to something, like just an open chord or something, so you're always having something that sets your ear uh, in tune. four chord you go to fret five bar fret five the four chord would be on the fifth fret which would be a C and the five chord on the seventh fret which would be a D there's a lot of cool licks you could find for instance by playing just strings uh, two and four you can get these cool C licks uh, just just picking the second and the fourth string grab the first thing string See that? Maybe back down. Watch that look again. Take it up to the D. See how easy it is to put licks together? my ear I want to go an octave higher up to the G up here. Because we're playing an open tuning, if we bar across the first and second strings, we get some really cool and bluesy sounding minor thirds. On the 12th fret, 10th fret, and the 9th fret, I'm sorry, 8th fret. Like G stuff, watch. So I was going was uh, 12, second and first string. 10, 8, 10, 12, 12, 11, 8, and 8th fret of the uh, second string, which is the G. Maybe the C lick. How about up to uh, the raise nine here? <laughs> and you might want to use this traditional blues turnaround. That's just between the second and fourth string on the third fret, second, first open. To the D chord. And also on those bar chords, you can um, suspend very easy. Like here's the D. To the C. So I'm just thinking about the bar on the fifth fret, but first on the second string going from fret six to five. So when you're up at the G. So 
Now, if we we're playing a traditional blues progression, it might be. Four chord. So much fun. Well, I hope that uh, opened your ears a little bit to the possibilities on the Dobro. And again, I suggest you get one. It'll just, you know, broaden your uh, guitar kind of musicality. So if you'd like to drop me a note, please do so at MikePacelli.com. It's always cool to hear from you, and I'll answer every email. Please have a look around the site here for more of my lessons, and thanks very much for hanging out with me.